Weathering Waves just had a pre-release live stream over in Japan, and we're going to cover what happened in it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch the live stream live because I was working, but luckily the users over at r slash weathering waves, in this case, alter AD7798 here, were able to summarize it for me and yeah, let's cover what is there. So of course the game will launch on the 22nd of May at 10 p.m. EST. That is gonna be about 9 p.m. for me. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself for the rest of that day. The pre-download should be available at uh, 6 a.m. on the 21st, the day before. So uh, definitely get it pre-downloaded because the servers will most likely be congested. Uh, there's a new trailer uh, that I got a few snidbits from that revealed this little bunny thing being sucking up a female crownless. Uh, the story quests have been updated. There's a new region, which I was saying there would be a new region because a lot of people were talking about how the area that we explore in uh, Weathering Waves that we explored in the closed beta test was a little samey samey. But from the bare minimum I know of the lore, that's basically the equivalent of the Mondstadt area. And there are other areas, right? When Genshin came out, things felt different because we had Mondstadt and Liyue to like contrast the two regional differences and stuff. I'm expecting this new region to have a much more different feel from the area that we were exploring during the closed beta test too. The dialogues have been updated. There, there are new characters to meet. Um, we already know that two new five stars have been announced. So we'll probably be interacting with them before their banner. New bosses, I'm assuming including the female crownless. Oh, yeah, one of the new bosses is a crownless female. She looks insane. Well, there you go. Uh, there's more grapple points in the main town, just easy to help you get around with. Uh, new mission types that are kind of like bounties. Basically, you talk to an NPC, they tell you to go fit fight a specific boss you beat the boss get extra rewards okay so it's also kind of like the um i'm assuming if these are like a, a weekly kind of thing they are similar to the regional hunt board that Gitchin has uh changes to the ecosystem reduce stamina consumption by letting you get both the echo and echo xp from the same quest thank you that should have always been a thing uh, le less wait time between collecting echoes. Great. So I think it was like a 10 minute wait time for the bosses, but they dropped it down to maybe five and the uh, area boss, the area enemies will respawn faster. Or maybe this is like an internal cooldown from like whenever you get one echo to whenever th uh, the same kind of echo can drop. That might also be a thing. Uh, combining echoes to make new echoes. We already saw this in their previous uh, coverage. When you recycle echoes to level up a new echo, you get some of the materials refunded. I already saw that. Echoes as rewards from quests. Great. And then we have the launch rewards, which the launch rewards are different from the pre-registration rewards. These are things that we are just getting as a bonus on top of the uh, other. You get a five-star picker and a random five star at 50 pools on the novice banner. Now, I believe the five star picker is the novice banner. I believe you get to pick the character you get out of the, the novice banner. I could be wrong, but that is how I was understanding it was that these are the same thing. Um, you get another 20 pools. So it, counting the pre-registration rewards, we're up to 40 pools. Uh, there's the uh, choice of a four-star weapon. This is this is pre-registration from here. Oh, wait, th this bit here is pre-registration, and then this is bonus. Gotcha. So this is this is a pre-registration. Four-star weapon selector, twenty pools, twenty asteroids, some XP. But then you get more. You get forty pools from union level, a five-star weapon selector from union level which these exact levels will be visible whenever we are actually in the game. Extra 20 pools for appreciation support. So there's the extra 20. So 
And if you're adding that up, that's 60 pools. That's 80. 80 asteroid pools right there. So that is basically everything that was covered. There is going to be an American live stream later today that I will try and catch because um, it'll be more around the time whenever I'm actually a functioning human being. But uh, basically, we will be playing soon as launch. 10 p.m. EST on the 22nd of May, I will be going live with Weathering Waves both here on YouTube and on my Twitch. I'll be giving away a copy of the Battle Pass to one lucky viewer. Uh, make sure you pre-download the game the day before, so that way if the servers are congested, you have a better chance of actually being able to play. So make sure you go and do that. I've been planning on making a podcast where I go around in Echo Hunt, so hearing all these ecosystem changes will make that podcast more fun. Uh, but yeah, I just want to make a quick video covering all the details. I'm very excited for the game, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.